In this presentation, you will see some of our experimental air turbine designs equipped with passive blade control. The demonstrated runs were done in a 130mm tube at moderate air flows, generated by a vacuum cleaner fan combination and a leaf vac at lowest speed. The whole setup with the leaf vac attached is shown here. Bidirectional flows are a major challenge in turbine design. The dynamic range of conventional rotor designs with static blades is rather limited. Due to very high tip speed ratios, their torque is poor and spin up a difficult task. Our little static blade Wells turbine is thick enough to be able to slowly spin up, but it hardly produces any torque. Air direction changes are indicated by the woolen thread attached to the end of the tube. The next rotor shows adaptive behaviour. Its 12 blades are flexible with head portions fixed to spokes transferring the torque to the shaft. Tail parts are interconnected by a floating ring that is actuated back and forth by the directed dynamic forces of the bidirectional airflow. Through this displacement the blades bend and adapt their camber and pitch in a beneficial way. As a result, the angle of attack is kept approximately constant over a large range of flow. Flashlight photography reveals the effect of the airflow on the blades. High solidity rotors develop reasonable torques at airflows with high impedance, like a centrifugal or radial fan found in ordinary vacuum cleaners. Playing around with solidity, we cut a 100% 8 blades rotor down to a 50% 4 blades rotor. Due to a much lower pressure drop, the airflow had to be increased in order to get the same torque. While the airflow of a vacuum cleaner is limited to around 40 litres per second, the leave vac easily does up to 250 litres and exhausts the rotor's adaptation range already at the lowest power level. To find out how the leave vac would act on a 100% solidity rotor at full power, we used a stainless steel disc rotor with laser cut blades. Since the leave vac is equipped with an impeller fan that does up to 250 millibar, just like a vacuum cleaner, the result is obvious. It developed a tremendous torque at high rotational speeds and its shaft couldn't be decelerated anymore with unprotected hands. However, when filming this scene, the leave vac ran at lower speed to avoid runaway due to loadless operation. Certainly, the design with exposed spokes is easy to build but far from what you would expect to be aerodynamic. Expending some more effort, the spokes may also be engineered in a radial fashion. With some additional streamlined fairing, we gain a Kaplan turbine with passive blade control. Properly designed, it may be admitted with bidirectional flows or highly variable unidirectional flows without any outer control. If you're interested in further results, scientific collaboration, licensing or financial participation, don't hesitate to contact us.